Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at newly released GPT-4 All version 3 by Nomic AI. So GPT-4 All is a tool that basically is an AI tool that basically helps you run your LLMs locally, you know, in your system or even you can deploy this in your own infrastructure. GPT-4 All is built keeping open source in mind. So if, for example, if you want to have a ready-made tool that can help you interact with large language model or that can help you interact with your document so you can fetch all the information that you need, right? So there are a lot of tools available, for example, LM Studio, Olama Web UI, and so on and so forth. I mean, NVIDIA came up with its own tool that runs on NVIDIA GPUs locally. This is important, guys, because there are two reasons for it. One is that the, this is MIT license. Now, what does it mean? It means that you can reproduce, you can use it commercially, you can do whatever you want to do with this, you know, in very layman terms. Of course, you have to go through some clauses and stuff if you are deploying it at large scale in, for example, in a bank, in a healthcare setting, etc. Right? Then you have to go through all the legal uh, terms and conditions. But if you are a uh, if you are looking to install something in your local machine so all of your data remains completely private nothing goes out of your machines or infrastructure then these are the tools to use and not everybody is technical so they can't build a tool like this right you need a lot of developers and skills and trust me there's a huge gap of ai skills right now okay the genuine people you know i don't even call myself an expert in this technology you know the people who have phds and who who uh, does cutting edge research they should call themselves experts because this is a fast moving technology it's not about building a chatbot now let's jump in and see how gpt4 all can help us chat with llm chat with our data local docs and whatnot now if you look at here on my screen it says gpt4 all nomic ai chat with local llms on any device I'll be a bit quick on the documentation. You can download for Windows if you have a Windows machine. You can download for Mac OS if you have an Apple device. You can download for Ubuntu if you are having an Ubuntu or Linux machine. You can also do it programmatically if you want to run it in your Python file or a, or a, you know notebook or whatever. Based on Llama CPP, without Llama CPP. It would, have, it would not have been possible, guys. All credits to Lama CPP and the creator. To download it, you can see I already have downloaded here and I have double clicked and installed in my Windows machine. This is how it looks like. It's called Welcome to GPT for All, the privacy first LLM chat application. The same goes with LM Studio, you know, O Lama, Web UI, and Cobalt AI, and whatnot, H2O AI, NVIDIA platforms. Everything locally that runs is your privacy first because your data is not leaving that application or the system that you have it says start chatting local doc. and when i say that i mean that if you are using an open source llm if you use an open ai api in a local uh, application then your prompt and responses will go to open ai data centers you can see it says on new version 3.0 over here it says we are thrilled to introduce our latest release packed with updates and improvements, local docs experience, completely redesigned local, e local docs UI and backend, new user interface, modern design making it easier. I haven't tested it yet. So when you run it for the first time, it will download a lot of models. So it will take time. So I have to pause the video once we reach that stage. Now, if you look at here in the left hand side, we have chats. Very, uh, very good interface. You know, it says install a model. I don't have any model installed. Then you have models. So I don't have any models so far. You have local docs. I have no local docs so far. If you look at settings. Now in settings you have light theme, you have dark theme, you have legacy dark, and you have dark, and then you have light. Right? You can see it here. Font size, let's keep it a bit medium. So let's see how does it looks on medium. I think medium looks nice, guys. Okay, so I, I think medium is fine. So we're gonna keep medium. Device. You can see I have you have auto CPU. You also have you know like if you have GPU, it automatically get gets it. If you have GPU, 
and your default model i don't have any model okay uh, download path where do you want to save the models cpu threads you can again increase decrease the threads api server blah 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 and what not and you can do that this is an application come to model so this is model setting you can put systems prompt here you can put prompt template max length blah 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 all the inference parameter over here and then we have local docs in local docs allowed file extensions you can see it says text pdf markdown rst use nomic embed api embed documents using the fast instead of private local model we will not do it because then it has no no, it, it doesn't make any sense to use this tool if you if you enable this we're not going to use nomic api they're trying to sell it because they have built something beautiful so they will try to do that embedding devices the compute device used for embedding auto uses the cpu requires restart it's fine and blah 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 so you can see a bunch of things over here this is how it looks like this is how the interface looks like now we'll go into uh go into it guys we'll have a uh, first start chatting and then try a local docs and see what kind of results we get here now as you can see if you come to models you can see i have one installed models i have installed 53 mini because i wanted to show you how you can you know uh, chat with llms and you know you can build a local rag uh, knowledge base information discovery or retrieval when you click on add model you can find out all the models which are listed here you have llama 3 instruct and it also shows you guys how much of RAM it required, what is the file size. Most of the model that runs locally on a compute limited device like a CPU or a consumer GPU guys, they will be quantized. 4 bit, 5 bit quantized, even 3 bit quantized, mostly 4 bit quantized, Q4KM, the medium uh, quantized model of 4 bit. And I have shown all of these things. If you are a technical person, if you want to understand what is quantization, how to quantize, watch my previous videos. You know, I can give the links in description. Here you have Llama 3 instruct and all. You can get Nows, Hums, 2 Mistral DPO, Mistral instruct, blah, blah, blah. So I already have my Pi 3 over here. You can see if you have more models, you can select it from here in the chat. Now, I don't have local docs. I'm just going to ask what is 2 plus 2. This is my question. You can see it says the answer to 2 plus 2 is 4. This is a basic arithmetic addition problem where you add the number 2 to another number 2 resulting in their sum which equals 4. 2 plus 2 equals to 4. What is 2? This is how it looks like. You have feedback. You can give feedback. You're going to thumbs up, thumbs down. You have history in the left hand side. You can look at the history. You can edit. You can delete the same way in the chat GPT. Let's ask one more question and see. Tell me more about it. So now it has memory as well. So I was checking if you can ask follow up question if it can understand. It has memory. You can see it says it kind of keeps on going and it gives you something. Okay. So LLM chat is working. This is what I wanted to show you. I installed 53 mini model and then I am showing you chat everything locally in an uh, desktop uh, application. That's what we are doing it. Let's jump in and go to local doc. If you go back, you will see this will be here. It's everything is getting saved in your local machine, guys. So this data is getting collected in your machine itself. Okay. If you click on new chat, you can see the history is there. And if you go to new chat, in new chat, you can load again. So you can see the model has been loaded again. It says loading 53 mini instruct and it has been loaded. Now it's ask write a uh, write an email to get promotion. To my boss or something so i'm just writing it will give you an email request for promotion and professional growth opportunities dear bosses don't use this email you will not get promotion if you use these kind of emails you have to be really personalized on those things but this is just so this is just to show you that it has streaming responses it has memory inbuilt it has history inbuilt everything so do not have to go and chat gpt and ask this kind of questions of course it has it hasn't connected with internet it has your everything local it's good for you know interacting with your local file so if you act if you are a marketer if you are someone who likes to uh, do a lot of research you can upload your documents and find some information if you are a uh, if you are someone who has to go through a lot of financial reports documents annual reports you can upload it over here and chat with it if you are someone who wants to upload the pdfs 
of any kind you can do that let's go in the local docs and i'm going to create it call it demo collection and create collection folder path so i have to check folder then let me create a folder pretty quick and i'm going to create a folder here and i'm going to call it demo docs let's select a folder here so in the folder i'm going to go browse go to desktop and select demo docs select folder and i'm going to create collection so you can see installing it's using this model guys nomic embed text v1.5 so it's an embedding model nomic embed 1.5 b if you look right something like this you can see this is the model that it's going to use it's an embedding model based on sentence transformers you can see it over here improvement upon nomic embed that utilizes this representation learning which gives developer the flexibility to trade off the embedding size for a negligible reduction in performance you can see it over here the sequence length and dimensions blah 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 so this is the model it's going to use and it says zero files zero words right now it's installing let it install and then we come back and as i as you guys can see here that our collections are ready so i created two collections and it was pretty slow guys there are some issues with the local docs uh, in my experimentation so far it's slow and sometimes it hangs also so i think we could have also have to keep that in mind it, it's hanging sometimes it's slow it's not able to find the right path but as you can see we have that so if you go to local docs i have two collections you can see demo collections and demo two files these many files these words zero words blah 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 okay now i go back to my chat so here you can add more collections if you want go to chats and in chat when you click on local docs you have to enable it you can see i have selected on this this collection right now and i ask a question what is ai agent because the document is about that so that is about the document you know that i have this is a docs and if i open demo docs you can find out here ai agent ops you know talking about all this context you can see it over here this is what we have okay this is one and the other one notes that we have is this is our docs where we have our readme file so if i open the readme file you will see that in a vs code it has a crew ai readme file so i am taking crew ai as an ai agent framework python library that helps you build ai agents and that's what you know i'm uploaded you see they can says an ai agent refers to a software entity that acts autonomously or semi autonomous in an environment often designed with the ability to perceive its you know its uh, through sensors blah 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 it says in the context provided in your snippet about crew ai crew ai is an example where ai agents are used as crew members blah 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 and it also tells you the sources so it gives you this readme.md file and this is the problem guys with gpt for all and not only with gpt for all for all the retrievers this is an engineering problem you have to probably now if you look at this this file has nothing to do with this question the other file that i have that's an story on ai but as they would have some top k documents it has to re return n number of sources and it has to return this that's where you see the semantic similarity and put a threshold value and then only return the sources which is relevant not all the sources let me ask this you know tell me more about it so if you do that you can see it says searching local docs demo so this is the collection that it's referring to and it basically generates on average it takes around 25 to 30 seconds and we are using 53 mini and i am using cpu though i have gpu in my machine i am not utilizing it because i am showing it to you because not everybody can afford gpu you can see it says crew ai is an innovative platform blah 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 and it's fast as well it's streaming it's faster and i think that's sufficient enough for local systems if you have local system you want to retrieve information you do not have to worry about you know giving some ten thousand dollars to a freelancer to build a react system for you you can utilize these kind of things if you want to do things locally okay now you can see again the sources you can again rate this and whatnot 
So this is how you can interact and chat with your files locally, you know, using GPT for all. And it's all free. You do not have to pay anything. It's an MIT license. You can bring up all the models. You can create local collections and you can start chatting with it. Very similar to LM Studio. If you want to know about LM Studio, I can give the link in description. Have a look. Cobalt AI, H2O AI, NVIDIA platform. They all, they all have similar things. And you will see more things in near future. Customizable options are not that great you know, with this kind of tool. But I think these are great enough to get this in free. You can subscribe to their newsletter to get new JS. You can find models over here. There are different models, Llama 3 and Mistrels and whatnot. Okay. So that's all for this video, guys. This is what I wanted to show. And I hope you now have an idea you know, of how to build or how to use, not build, how to use GPT for all. You know. And I have also shown it in my tens of other videos previously that how you can build a tool like this. You know, uh, you can uh, you can look at my rack playlist and you'll find it over uh, there. If you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, please let me know in the comment box. You can also join our Discord server. Find the link in the video description. We are really doing great on Discord, guys. Job opportunities, internships, solving problems, helping each other, hackathons, freelancing gigs and whatnot. Everything is there on Discord. If you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.